Yo, how long has my fly been open? This is gonna be a video of nothingness involving my life, so prepare your buttholes. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. See, I don't know why you would need to prepare your buttholes. I really, I, I mean, I don't want to get anywhere near your butt without your consent. That's not my, I'm really sorry. I, I'll never do that again. I'm sorry. Let me just start by saying happy Halloween, because that was a thing a long time ago. I am not current. I really hope everyone had fun carving pumpkins and trick-or-treating and appropriating costumes from other cultures. But now in a couple weeks, we get to take those pumpkins that we carved and serve them as pies in celebration of the largest mass genocide in history. Love the holidays. But it is so crazy to me how it is almost mid-November and how my second first semester of college is almost over. Not gonna let that joke die, guys. <laughs> this whole semester has gone by in a blink of an eye and I have learned absolutely nothing. No, okay, that's not true. I've learned that um, all-nighters are really bad. Um, signing up for classes is a lot like the Hunger Games. Um, it would take 60 years for someone to travel to and from the galaxy Andromeda and by the time they reach the Earth again, the Earth will have aged 5 million years and um, attendance policies do matter. No, but, but seriously, go to class. Class is important. But I honestly think there's something wrong with me and my ability to retain information, mostly the fact that I can't seem to do it. It's like someone could say something to me and if you ask me what they said two minutes later, I could not tell you. If you want me to remember something, please just, please tell me to write it down because I will forget it otherwise. And it's really, it's not because I'm not listening. It's, I'm just, I don't know. But you know, every day I learn something new about myself, so I feel like that's really cool. Like yesterday, when I went to the calf, I learned that I will always hate okra. See, I already knew that I hated okra. But yesterday I learned that I will always hate okra. And I feel like that self-discovery on its own is worth $19,000 in tuition fees. But I've gotten really busy lately. Shopper! That wasn't necessary. That wasn't necessary at all. But anyway, I've gotten really busy lately and being busy has made me appreciate boredom. Like not having anything to do and not knowing what to do are the times that I live for. Because with that time, you can allow yourself to de-stress and let your mind become an open range of opportunity. And with that opportunity comes more self-discovery. And I discovered my desire to write slam poetry. So that's a thing that I do now and I enjoy it and I think it's really cool. Last night at one of my school's open mics, I performed one of my poems and it wasn't something I planned on doing, but I'm really glad that I did it and I am really happy that I did it because now I can just add it to the list of things that makes me happy and I think that's really awesome. This is why boredom is important because you end up searching for things for ways. Hang on. This is why boredom is important because you end up searching for ways to entertain your mind and then you discover things about yourself that you might not have thought you would like doing or had the desire to do or thought you could do. And that's really cool. Life is awesome. Okay, well, I think I've ignored my responsibilities for far too long today. So I think I'm gonna not do them some more. It was really nice talking to you guys. But uh, oh, before I go, I wanna do something else involving books. Yeah, reading! So I've been trying to get to all the books that you guys have recommended to me, uh, which I really appreciate, by the way. Uh, so I figured, if it's all right with you guys, I'd recommend a couple of books as I read them. So let's see how long that lasts. I just finished this one. It is um, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. And if you're really into dystopian books and things that, like, books that have to do with worlds going astray or what the world would be like if you know, you know, bad things happened. <laughs> then this book is for you. Huxley is a very metaphorical and descriptive writer and I think that's really important. I think he's able to portray good um, imagery and if you're into imagery and into descriptive writing and into figuring out what he means by reading it 30 times over, then this is the book for you. I only started reading this book because I read 1984 um, I can't remember who that's by. And then I also want to read Fahrenheit 451. So those are kind of the three books that go together for me that I want to read. And I recommend all of those books, but actually I haven't read Fahrenheit 451, so I'm not sure if I recommend that one yet. But probably do, because I've heard really great things about it. So yes, those are my book recommendations. Go forth, young children. Be literate. Use your words. Or read. Ugh, oh, I messed that up. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>